Legendary photographer Jürgen Schaderberg was a pioneer of South African photojournalism during the anti-apartheid struggle. Now Stefan Waltz and Co. is hosting a photography exhibition from the 19th to the 21st of September by the father of South African photography himself. Anton Waltz is the division head of Stefan Waltz and Co. And he joins us from our Seapoint studio to tell us more about the exhibition. A very good morning to you, uh, Jürgen. Uh, I mean, uh, Anton, excuse me. <laughs> Jürgen played such a huge role within the South African media landscape in capturing um, just the essence of what was happening in the past. Could you give a summary to some of our viewers who've maybe never heard of his name and don't know about his great works, exactly what it is that he contributed into making South Africa, the, the media side of South Africa, what it has become? Yeah, an interesting thing. I think Schaderberg arrived here in 1951 as a, as a, as a young man. I think he, he was born in 1931. He arrived in 1950 or 51. And he arrived to find two societies living almost in a parallel universe. So uh, he got a job at Drum Magazine and he became chief photographer at Drum and he began to record what he saw. So um, he, he, he turned photojournalism, in a sense, into what we now can regard almost as art. But he, re he recorded life in South Africa in the 50s and, and, on, and on two different levels. So he, he photographed Mandela and the, and the trees and trialists in, from 1958 onward. And he also photographed the burial of the Sharpville, victims of the Sharpville massacre. He did uh, Maria Makeba, uh, Huma Sakela. So it, it, was, it was life in Sophia Town prior to the, to the forced removals. He recorded and documented the history of South Africa in the 50s. And I think those are the, the photographs for which he's most well known. Now, it, it would seem to me as if he felt compelled to tell the South African story through the lens. Um, it, to him, this was more than just a job. Would you agree with that? Yes, I would, because I think he, he arrived with a, with a different mindset. You know, he came, he came as a continental leaving post-war Germany. So he'd, he'd experienced Germany during the war and he, he arrived in South Africa and saw a very, very different, uh, very, very different environment. All right, now, this is the first exhibition and sale of uh, his work. What made you decide to have this uh, exhibition? It's really prompted by the release of his autobiography, which is, which is being launched at the same time. So it's the launch of his autobiography uh, alongside an exhibition of, of, of his work and probably his, probably his most important work or certainly his most memorable work, uh, which, which are the images taken in the 50s. Now, earlier you spoke about uh, some of the uh, iconic photograph uh, photos rather that he captured uh, in Sophia Town of Nelson Mandela and all other areas of South Africa and what was happening at the time. Which would you say resonate with you more or which would you say people uh, rather will resonate with people who come through and see the exhibition? There are probably two images, uh, perhaps, perhaps three images. There's, there's probably Nelson Mandela in the law office, which is, I th is the only image, as far as I'm aware, of Nelson Mandela in the law office. And, and if you look in the reflection of the, of the window, it says Mandela and Tambo, who, who, were, who were partners in the law firm at the time. So that's one, I think, really, really well-known image of his. Obviously, Mandela on the steps of the, of the treason trial in 1958. And then he came back in 94, and did the Robin Island Revisited series. And I think that the image that came up on the screen a moment ago of Mandela staring through the bars in his cell in Robin Island is, is, is possibly his most well-known image. Wow, Anton, uh, quickly take us through uh, the memoir as I see it. Well, he's, he's been awarded the Institute of Photography's Lifetime Achievement Award and the doctorate from the University of Valencia. So he's been recognized internationally for, for his... Uh, for his efforts in, 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 in photography. And this is, this is 80, 86 years of, of memories. Uh, I'm sure his wife, Claudia, has, has been a great help to him in, in, in compiling the memoir, but it's going to be a fascinating read. Now, Anton, the event marks the first occasion in South Africa that Schaderberg has exhibited limited edition silver signed handmade prints. That, that's something quite yes. significant. It's quite a big deal. It is, particularly seeing as he did the printing himself and, and, and uh, they, they're done not by another printer but done by Schaderberg himself. Each image is signed. Uh, some, I, th I think they're one or two images 
There are a very limited number of images signed by, by Schadebing and Mendele himself, and I think one of those images is, is going to be on the exhibition. Uh, so it's going to be something worth seeing. Now, Anton, assuming you've spoken to Schadebing, could you just share some of his thoughts uh, around this exhibition and what his feelings are? I've been in communication with his wife, not, not so much Jürgen, okay. um, but they're very, they're very, very happy to, to, uh, to be here. In fact, I'm probably going to be reading a speech by, by Jürgen on Tuesday evening at the opening. I think they're quite excited about the possibility of exhibiting some work in South Africa for some... Um, they haven't exhibited for, for a very, very long time, if at all. So it's going to be a, it's going to be a momentous event from that point of view in, the, in that it's going to give people a chance to see images that, that, that were taken from... Well, the last 50 years of South African history, really. All right. And for people who are interested in coming to see the exhibition, um, how can they do, go about doing that and finding out more information? Kilani Country Club in, uh, in 8th Street, beg your pardon, in 5th Street in Houghton. Uh, opens on uh, Tuesday evening. Only on show for a few days, unfortunately. Only up until, I think, Thursday this week. So you're going to have to charge it and, get, and, 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 and quickly come and have a look. But... Uh, I'm not sure how many images, probably 40 or 50 photographs, uh, opening Tuesday night on show, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And uh, we will also be offering one or two images of Schadebergs on our next auction in Cape Town on the 10th of October. All right, fantastic. Anton Valls, thank you so much for your time this morning. Now, the exhibition, just to repeat what he said, in case you missed it, uh, will be held at uh, Stefan Walton Co's new Johannesburg premises. That's at the Kalani Country Club on 65th Street, Harton Estate. It opens at 6 p.m. on September the 19th and ends on September the 21st. Now, the opening hours are from right. 10 to 5 p.m.